Hi, I'm Lockie Datto. You know, for me, there's nothing better than spending a couple of days in the snow, especially when you get a day like this. So today, I thought I'd give you an insight into what people experience and what you and your family can experience on a first trip to the snow. Meet the Purcell family. We're gonna spend the next three days with them while they're taking lessons and practicing on the slopes. The plan? In just three days, our first timers will become skiers. Fee, how are you feeling about the trip to the snow? Yeah, I'm really excited. I'm, I'm really excited to watch the, the kids learn to ski. I'm a little bit nervous about me learning to ski. It can be a little bit uncoordinated at times, but um, just seeing the snow and um, watching it falling is just really beautiful. What's one of the things that you're really looking forward to while you're here? Um, I'm really looking forward to us getting to the point as a family with learning to ski that I can take them up that hill and come down together. You know, if, if this does become a family tradition, I want us to be able to you know, without the ski instructors and without falling over and rolling down, that we can get up and, and come down and, and have a good time together. I can tell you there's no better feeling than coming down the mountain with your kids. Oh, makes me a little bit teary thinking about it. Yeah, it's exciting. Yeah, I hope we get there. So race skis or...? <laughs> I've never skied, no. So what about the process of, of getting the equipment? Because a lot of people think, oh, there's just so much to do and so much to organise. Did you think that? Yeah, I was a bit worried because to be honest, I'm so new at it. I just, I didn't even know the questions to ask. I'm so new, I didn't know what gear to, to organise. I was really surprised how easy it was. I kind of just walked in, signed up, they said go to this station, go to that station and we walked out again. Everyone was so friendly and it was, it was too easy. Here we go. To the slopes. Now the Purcell family are all decked out, let's get them started. And we start at Friday Flat. If driving, you can park right at the base of this excellent beginner's area. Practically all Australia's resorts have perfect beginner terrain. What was the wash up last night? How'd you feel? We're a bit tired, but pretty, pretty pleased with ourselves. When I, I saw, um, first saw Jeremy on the skis, I couldn't help but cry. I was so proud of him. Like, in one day, I never would have thought that we'd be up and actually skiing. What was the best part about yesterday for you? Just feeling, I just felt amazing that I could conquer that. You know, when you first put the skis on, I couldn't move, you know. I felt like I was going to fall on my butt and I was sliding around. Um, and to look at that, that slope, I thought, there's no way I'm going to be able to get down that. But to do that, it was a huge sense of achievement. It felt awesome. And looking after the kids, yesterday you were a little bit apprehensive about putting them into, yeah. into ski school. How do you feel now after they've done the day? I feel really reassured now. And they were all happy, they were learning, they were having a good time, and the instructors were awesome with them. They were really encouraging and they are all cheering. So I feel much better about it today. You've been Fiona's instructor since she started. How's she gone? Yeah, really well. But she approached it like any other first timer, sort of a bit unsure of if she's going to be able to ski down the mountain at all. Do you find that a lot of people get nervous until until they try it? Yeah, a lot of people don't have the belief in themselves that they'll be able to do it. Yeah. And it's just a matter of giving them the the right understanding of how a ski works and the right exercises and the right repetition in order to get them the confidence yeah. and then within you know within a few days an average person is skiing most of the mountain hey fee how you doing hey <laughs> not too bad day two you having fun i'm having fun it's a little bit steeper than i was doing yesterday so would you have thought you'd be skiing down the mountain huh? no okay. i didn't think i could do this no beautiful Emily and Grip have done fantastic. You know, usually they don't progress so far, you know, in three days, but in three days they're up at the top of the mountain and, you know, they're stopping, they're turning, they're, 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 they're great. Well, after three days, you know, three, th three year olds really a bit slower than the four to six year olds, but after three days they should be able to stop and do the basic turning and be able to follow the, the instructor in a line. Um, but yeah, Jeremy's doing really well and he's, yeah, it's excellent. I'm really looking forward to us getting to the point as a family with learning to ski that I can take them up that hill and have a good time together. That would be great. So Fee, yep. three days, Yep. how's it been? It's, it's been really surprising. I was nervous heading into it, 
didn't really know how the kids would go. I didn't know how I would go, but we've just skied down the mountain together, the three of us, and that was just amazing. That was really special. And it was all been too easy, you know. It's, I would recommend it to anyone to come up here. It's a really good family experience. So you'll do it again? Definitely. I can't wait to bring my husband down here so he can see our kids skiing as well. Well, I hope this has inspired you to get your family down to the snow because as you can see from Fee and her family, it's so easy and you can be up and skiing so quickly. So get yourselves down to the snow, have a great time. It's a sport that you can all enjoy together and that's what being a family is all about.